Are you all ready? Because um, if you want to know how to have a perfect transition 100% of the time, I'm about, I'm, about how to, I'm about to give you the hottest tips in how to transition perfectly without any issues whatsoever. You will be perfect. You will become a cis woman. Okay? And I, I hate to tell you, but the process is going to be much harder for the trans masks. But um, but you guys are welcome to try it. Um, I'm uh, you're welcome to try it. But I just want to make sure that you guys know that this is definitely going to be a trans feminine, uh, you know, uh, a trans fem focused one. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I I'm super super sorry. Sorry, but here we go. Without any further ado, the guide to a perfect transition. All right. Uh, if you, uh, and yeah, oh, thank you, Rick Wallace, for the $5. I have not heard that one, but I probably should check it out. Here, without any further ado, thank you for the $5. Like and subscribe, etc., etc. Here we go, all right? I have reverse, thanks to uh, a, a, an incredible amount of internet research, I have reverse engineered the perfect tactic to become a cis woman. This is the one trick that they do not want you to know, okay? And it took me a very long time de delving through ancient texts to discover this. So let's begin, everyone. We're gonna get this nice and big on the screen here together. This is going to be called How to Be More Feminine, okay? Here we go. We're gonna just, just imagine, actually here, I think I can do this by going like, there we go. How to Be More Feminine. We'll just put how to be more femme. And then we're going to draw little, you know, little girl symbols over here, everybody. There you go. Woo! All right, everybody. Number one. Always masturbate. Always. You must be constantly, at all moments, be masturbating. You cannot stop. You must never stop. You must constantly masturbate. As we can see by reverse engineering the techniques for perfect masculinity, the only answer is to be constantly in a state of arousal. Because as we all know, women being, um, you know, being the out of control emotional things they are, they should, you should have no self-control at all. None. You must always be masturbating. Secondly, do not lift anything at all. Lift nothing. Make men lift it for you. Hold on. Let me show you. Here we go. Men. I have to scribble this out because I fucked up. Men do lifting. Women are weak. Do not lift. Be weak. Make the men do it. Next. Destroy or undermine or sabotage a business. Sabotage. You cannot be a woman if you have not sabotaged a business. That is the only way to achieve true femininity. You cannot, you cannot, you will not be allowed in. Sabotage. Okay? You must. It's very simple. Next. This says eat more red meat. Become a vegan. This is not what you must do. You must veganize. No more meat. You can't eat any more meat. If you eat a burger, you're not a woman. That's how it goes. Vegan. Vegan. Understand? This says control your emotions. Well, we must, as we know, reverse engineer this. And the answer is to always unleash your emotions in full, in full, AKA, you need to become Untreated borderline personality disorder, okay? There you go. There you go. Un untreated BPD is the answer to becoming a true woman, okay? There you go. Whatever you do, never doubt your emotions, no matter how intense they are. It is, if you are want to be a woman, you must always be impulsive. You must always give in to your emotions, no matter what, okay? Next. Eat five eggs a day. Wrong. Lay five eggs a day. That is the answer. You must lay five eggs per day. 
if eating eggs makes you a man, laying eggs makes you a woman. It's as simple as that. Lay five eggs per day. There we go. Wow, that was getting a little messy over there. It's hard to read this at the moment. Okay. Give up alcohol. No. No, 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 no. Nope. Obviously, the answer is become a day drunk. Become drunk. Ab absolutely feminine trait here being a being drunk. Okay? Always. If you're always drunk, stop smoking weed. Uh, well, obviously, the this is a this is a tough one because you can't just you can't just do the opposite. You need to you need to also embrace a weed lifestyle, which means you need to become weed. You need to smoke so much weed that you, that if they were to do a genetic test on you, they would come up with at least mostly weed. Okay, become weed. Cold showers. Never shower. Ever. Never. Women do not need to shower. True women have no smell at all, except for flowers when they need to. Never shower. That's the answer to becoming a woman. You just do not wash. Do not wash yourself, and you will be as womanly as possible. Um, yeah, that's the answer. Isn't most weed a lady plant? Yes, that is true. That's why. That's why it's very important. No, not scalding hot showers. No, no, you don't need to shower at all. Men have to take cold showers. Women don't have to shower. Last of all, meditate. Well, this one's the easiest of all. Simply stop thinking. No thoughts, head empty. No thoughts. Brain, smooth. See, notice how the, the thoughts just go right over it? Look at how easy it is. So once again, let's run through it again. The guide to having a perfect transition uh, for feminine people is to always masturbate, never lift a finger. Don't move, do not pick up anything. If, you, if somebody tries to get you to pick something up, yell at a local man to do the lifting. Next, sabotage or destroy a business. Uh, you can do it in your own way. You can decide. It doesn't have to be as a part of a riot, though that might be the most fun way to do it. Um, and of course, you must go vegan. You need to develop uh, uh, a, a severely untreated case of BPD. You need to lay five eggs a day, become a day drunk, uh, literally smoke so much weed that your genetics detects like THC in your DNA, never shower at all because women don't need to shower, and of course, abandon thinking, become animal. It's simple. It's so simple. Isn't this, isn't this just, isn't this just great? See, now you know. My body is Keith, my blood is THC. True! <laughs> Become dependent on THC, yes. This is the only way. Obviously, everyone, that is, is clearly a joke, but something that's strangely popular on the internet are these weird how to be more masculine accounts. Now, there are a lot of these, and a lot of these actually have quite a lot of, um, of followers. If you'll notice, this account called Masculine Retention. Hmm. Hmm. Um, masculine Retention has like 58,000 followers. Uh, and, you know, they have such incredible advice. I'm sorry, I hate to tell you this, but apparently becoming a man is much, much harder than being a woman. You have to basically live a life of complete and utter chastity, like a nun. You must lift weights. You need to start a business. Remember, every man w has to start a business, which is interesting to think about because by the definition of most businesses, um, businesses aren't solo ventures. You usually have employees. So unless you're only employing women, well then not every man can be masculine, which means there's a maximum limit of men on the planet who can be men and who aren't gonna be subservient. It's a very strange worldview, you know? You need to, you, you know, as you can see, you need to eat as much red meat as possible, despite the fact that is definitely not good for your health. 
uh, you need to, you know, box things in, never talk to your partners or friends about your emotions. You basically need to seal yourself off and become an agonized, isolated, and alienated human. You need to eat five eggs a day for some reason. I don't know. Never drink again. Don't smoke any weed. Don't even have warmth. I, I can't help but feel that any person who tries to adhere to this type of lifestyle is actually making themselves genuinely miserable. And that's something that's really weird to me. Um, in mixed in with like all of the like uh, this this like weird resurgence of like red pillar uh pickup artist bullshit every single time there's like a resurgence of this stuff there's always a resurgence of this strange uh like de-evolved form of stoic stoicism and what they basically ask people to do is become perpetually miserable and then the spaces that they all hang out in trying to help each other become more manly and whatever well those spaces just become increasingly miserable every person in the space is miserable every other person in the space is miserable and they're all reinforcing one another's misery it's a life of like complete chastity for what for to attain masculinity which apparently in this one in, in in this person's viewpoint is is like never masturbating never having warmth in your shower yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of grugs out there these days but let me tell you something this is not a way to happiness for the vast majority of people while it is true that some people will gain a lot of happiness from living a very controlled life, the vast majority of people cannot and do not want to live like that. But of course, accounts that are out there trying to make a buck off of taking advantage of sad people and selling them uh, snake oil solutions, of course those people are gonna tell you they have the answer. And of course they're gonna tell you things that are, uh, you know, usually just end up aligning with weird, hyper-Christian, almost, almost like fascistic aesthetics uh, of manhood. It's pretty strange. Yeah, see? So, like I said, uh, the, the <laughs> you now know the true way to become a woman or a man. It just, I, I'm gonna guess that most people following this, they're just gonna become women, aren't they?